uh, you can actually email them from there itself you you get the list of professors on online i mean you, you go to the pretty website and you get all the list of the professors who are you know uh, in in the university at this point of time and you can just send them you can send all of them an email like you're from india this is my resume this is my gpa this is my experience and if you have some kind of opportunity for me just give it to me yeah you can actually email them uh, it will be helpful to you because once you come over here uh, majority of them will be uh, you know uh, given i mean the opportunities will be taken by some other some other other person no no it's not random obviously uh, you do have to you know have some kind of qualifications like uh, you you need to have some uh, work experience you need to have some good gpa i mean your gpa works uh, has a very important part because it's like it because it is an academic position so you need to have good gpa you need to have some uh, speaking uh, skills as well i am not sure about the score but i believe you have to have some minimum of 26 in the profile speaking section i am not sure but yeah this is what you need to have so if you have these criteria then yeah you can apply for them uh, as i said the expense is going to be like 800 maximum 1000 dollars but you get an uh, you get a stipend of like 1500 2000 dollars a month so it's 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 a lot of money and all of the fees will be covered so you do get funding and stuff so it's actually very good if you get a ta or ra opportunity but it's a bit difficult to get because in construction engineering in my department uh, the majority of the positions are given to a phd student so we don't get much but if you go into the bcm department which is in the polytechnic school uh, they do have a lot of opportunities they uh, they 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 do get funding to master student as well okay, so there are a lot of opportunities over here for on campus jobs uh, the campus is huge so i mean there are a lot of dining halls and there's a lot of uh, you know on campus hotels or restaurants and kind of stuff so yeah there's a lot of opportunity for that but you can apply for that from india you have to come over here and you have to do it uh, people you know sometimes say that you should not do a on campus job in the first semester you should like you know get adjusted to the climate and stuff but i don't think that's needed you can just come over here and start applying for it because it, it was a very smooth transition for me i don't i did not find it difficult in the first semester uh, i mean you you don't have furniture over here i mean majority of the apartments don't do not give you a furnished apartment mine was not furnished there are a few but their rent is like quite high so probably you won't be able to afford it so basically i i had to buy a bed a study table a lamp because there were no lights in my bedroom so you have to buy a light as well a lamp and a study table and a chair basically that is what my expense was the light was not available in my bedroom the light was only in the uh, hall and the passage way the bedrooms you have to buy your own lights and stuff So the house was furnished. It was not furnished. A uh, total cost of education. Uh, I think the the fees may go around like thirty five, thirty six thousand dollars if you do it accordingly. Uh, so that's it. That's going to be the tuition fees. Uh, above that, if you just like add eight uh, hundred dollars per month, and if you stay over here for like. Uh, 18 months or so just multiply that and add it to it.